Hi, today uh, my topic is do you have a good friend around you or you have a, a bully whom you think is your good friend? What I mean is we're walking around claiming that we have friends but then at some point we don't realize we have people who intimidate us into feeling that they are good friends to us. So let's define it. What is a bully? A bully is a person who uses power or strength to intimidate or put fear in people so that they achieve their goal. And whereas a friend is a person whom one knows and with whom one has a bond or mutual affection, typically exclusive of sexual or family relations. So these are the two definitions for what a bully is and what a friend is. So what do you have around you? So today I'm going to give you scenarios. It is going to be up to you to really identify with yourself. Ask yourself, do I have a bully around me or I have a friend? Because I'm going to lay it out to you. This is what a bully does. They will expect you to call them every day. They never text you. Or if you text them, they will never text back. Every time it has to be with you, will instigate all these calls or texts. If you don't, they ask you why you didn't. If you do, sometimes they don't respond. Or it's based on how they feel that day. And it makes you feel uncomfortable because you feel like you're not loved anymore. Whereas for a, a good friend, they'll call you. There's no time frame. There's no limit. They can call you in the middle of the night. They can wake you up at any time. And it's mutually understood. And they can just text you and maybe there is no response, it won't bother them. They, they don't think like they owe you something. They just understand that, oh, this is my girl. Uh, I will text her anytime and she will understand. That's what a good friend does. So in any situation, a bully who claims to be your friend, they'll never admit to anything. They will always redirect it to something else or maybe back at you. Because every time they have to have something over you so that they feel empowered. For them, it's always about power. If we go back to the definition, it says it, it's intimidation, right? They use their mental strength. They use their physical power to make you believe in something. So you can challenge them. They have to be on top of their game all the time. Whereas a good friend, this is what they will do. If there is a situation they will think about it because they know you are bringing it with love. They know you don't mean to hurt them. You mean to get the situation straight. So they're not going to defend themselves. Even if they do by any chance defend, defend themselves, they are trying to really understand and get to your point. And at, at, at some point, even if they don't really agree, they, you will mutually know that you have agreed to disagree. And it is understood that there is no bad blood between you because it was all meant for you guys to be good. You try and challenge them based on whatever they have said or done. They jump into this anger because they just want to hold on to their power to be, to be always over you, you know. You can never say anything good. It has to be based on what they want to make it about. They will twist and turn things on you that at the end of the day you feel you are not a good person. Whereas on the other hand, a good friend, you're brutal with each other when need be. You are always telling the other person that I don't get this point. Even if you're challenging them, for a good friend, they don't see it as a challenge. They see it as a correction. So they don't jump into anger. Even if they do, you have ways into bringing back them back into the conversation without you feeling like I did something wrong. That's what a good friend does. They'll always hear you. When you're wrong, they'll be honest with you that you're wrong. But in love, they won't do it in a way that at the end of the day, you feel like you are just such a bad person. Bullies know everything. Very illogical. Even if they are logical sometimes, 
they end up twisting and tripping themselves all the time and they make you feel like you have no idea on this world what you're talking about so you're always at their mess you know you're always trying to be like them when there is absolutely nothing in there zero nothing and then friends if it's not logical you just call you just say a dude uh whatever Th that does not make sense and most of the times you find yourself laughing over things like those no matter how big they are if somebody is your true friend if you say something that has no logic absolutely nothing they will make you understand uh you failed but in good faith and you laugh over that and the most important thing what they'll try and make you do is get at the point in a very logical way so that's what a good friend does and this is what a bully will do they'll always they, they are always prying on your good qualities right because they know your good qualities you can't do anything about them they are just right there they are outstanding so they are playing games with you you know you feel sad and you feel like you're a failure and then you're like you're sweating them oh please do you mind uh, doing this and then now you know because now without them you can't do anything because they said I'm not going no, you want us to go somewhere I'm not going with you and then for you, because you look up to them, you fail doing those good things that people appreciate you for because they make you feel that way. And this is another thing, another juicy thing about bullies. Identify this, very important. This is what they do. You know how sometimes you disagree with people out there. And then when you're with your girl, now you're strategizing how you're going to deal with issues, right? Yeah, girl, she talked about us. What are we going to do? You, you're discussing, you're, you, you're making plans on how to deal with this issue, how you should approach people. So this is what a bully will do because they always want to make you look bad. They are manipulating you into making people feel like you're the bad one. They are the good ones, you know. So when you get to the point where you have to address an issue with whoever you have an issue with that involves you and your bully friend, Guess what they do? They are just stone cold. They don't address nothing. You are the one, yeah, 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 yeah. You are yap, 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 talking. They are stone cold. Right in front. Right there. And then at the end of the day, who is the bad one? You. Because you know what? Everybody knows what you think, but they don't know what they think. And then you know when it's over, they go behind your back and talk about how foolish you are. With friends. If you have to duke it out, you duke it out. If you have to deal with situations, they are going with you with, and they got your back. They, you, you guys are speaking the same language. Number one, they have very low self-esteem. There's nothing in there. That's why they're playing this game with you because you're the only one whom they can manipulate. So this is what they do. Everybody around them is their friend. And they'll go out of their way to tell everybody and manipulate everybody to believe that you're a bad person and at some point you are left empty there is nobody who cares about you but behind your back everybody knows how bad you are so right there you don't have anybody but them and in your mind you believe so so badly that this person is there for me because the next thing they do they'll come back and tell you how much Everybody else does not like you, but them. And they feel so good about that. And then a good friend, this is what a good, well, before I'm done with a bully. And then you are the only best friend that they have. But then when you look at it, you are fighting everybody because of what they say. But they are friends with everybody. And then you're like, oh, okay. And at the same time, if they have their own enemies, which they always do, they make you believe that all those enemies are your enemies too. So you end up fighting battles for their own battles. You have your own. Now you are added with this mean person. You're fighting 30,000 battles for, for you and them. That's a bully right there. Whereas a friend, they will make sure that they're not even jealous of anybody around you if you have another friend they're happy for you because if they are busy they know you have somebody who got your back 
So they will always make sure they, they, they cultivate those friendships or cultivate those relationships around you so that you're always happy because their goal is for you to be happy, right? So everybody, if you know what they do if they're a good friend. They will fight every bit of every nerve they have in them so that you're safe. Anybody who says anything, they'll fight for you. A bully, they won't do that. When somebody says bad, uh, something bad about you, they'll, they'll support them. And they're the ones who are talking about you more than everybody else. Okay, we have said it all. Who they are, what they do, how they do stuff. How do you get yourself out of a situation then? Very tough, because these friends could be like sisters to you at some point, or brothers to you at some point. But are they really that? Pinpoint the issue. That this is how I feel about our relationship and our friendship. Sometimes you can get your way and make sure that you talk about it and maybe get to a consensus and you, you might have more than something good. But sometimes it's better to walk away from that type of friendship because it doesn't help you. Trust me on that one. Because if somebody is going out of their way to make you look, look bad, like you lose a boyfriend because you know why, they went behind your back and they told your boyfriend, all bad things about you that you didn't even do. And at the end of the day, you don't even know who you could have been married to because they spoiled it for you. Oh, I'm hopeful. Yes, I am hopeful for today. Take this music and use it. Let it take you away and be hopeful, hopeful. And he'll make a way. I know it ain't easy, but that's okay because we hope.